Hello and welcome to another episode of JDB Moto. Today I'm going to be working on my 2016 BMW GSA and what we're going to be doing is we're going to in, uh, be installing an aftermarket skip plate. Here we have what we're going to be installing. This is going to be a Black Dog Cycle Works uh, skip plate and what we're going to do is going to go ahead and replace our uh, factory skip plate. As you can see if you are going to be riding off-road, this offers absolutely zero protection. No protection to your headers, basically no protection as well to your casing, anything like that. So as you can see, this should be fairly straightforward to move out. These are, these are gonna be T30 uh, Torx screws that are in place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take them out. The one that we have here from factory is gonna have two, four, and this is gonna be number five uh, for total bolts. So let's go ahead and take those out and let's go ahead and see how our factory skip plate compares to our aftermarket one. All right, so here we have the one from Cycle.Works. What you're gonna notice right off the bat is just basically how much bigger it is. We don't have it out yet, and you already can see how big it is. Uh, it also brings, it comes with a couple of stickers. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna be putting this on. Uh, it comes with a keychain. Let's go ahead and put this aside. Let's go ahead and unwrap ours out of here now with the one from black uh black dog cycles you're going to be using an aftermarket not aftermarket it's going to come basically with everything you're going to need from uh black dog cycles uh for installation so here you have it here is basically what this is going to look like you can definitely see how much bigger it is already you can see uh this over here this air so he's going to go ahead and be able to protect uh basically the lower part of your headers and right here you're going to be able to see it's going to come with this rubber uh mount this should help a lot with the vibration that you might potentially go ahead and get once you install this one on let's go ahead and take the one that we have now from factory so we can see the difference side by side as i said earlier this is going to be a t30 so now that we have the OEM skip it out. I just want to go ahead and show you what they look side by side. So first of all, what you're going to notice is right off the bat is going to be size. Look how small uh, your factory BMW GSA uh, skip plate is compared to the one on, on our right, which is going to be your Black Dog uh, Cycle Works. Second is going to be how wide. Another thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is going to be just basically how you have it basically instead of actually becoming wider at the front to cover the headers from your boxer engine, the one from Black Dog is basically does that. It goes from thin and then you get this side uh, protection here and then you get this front bumpers basically that's going to go ahead and help you with the protection of your headers. Now if we look on the underside now and the inside, well, this is going to be basically what's going to go against your bottom of your BMW. You're going to be able to see again just how small it is compared to our aftermarket one. Uh, one thing and one of the reasons that I went with, uh, with the Black Dog Cycle Works uh, skip plate compared to the other ones was, and personal uh, preference here, uh, I like the fact that there's no hole for your oil, uh, for your uh, drain bolt for your oil system. I like that for the simple fact is this motorcycle is going to be going off-road. Um, everybody says it's not going to happen, but I don't want to be that one guy that finds out that, you know, because I have that hole for my uh, for my uh, oil drain bolt that is going to go ahead and show in the system. So let's go ahead and show you just how easy it is to install. It should be a fairly straightforward position. They provide you with the necessary and extra materials that you're going to need uh, for your BMW and for the installation of the skip plate. So we went ahead and removed uh, the factory bracket. So that's you're going to be able to see that's where you would have gone. Now the next thing we got to do is go ahead and remove this one over here. This is going to have two bolts here. These are going to be uh, T40. So let's go ahead and take those out. What you want to do before you completely uh, put everything away is you're going to use four bolts. And it recommends for you to use blue Loctite, which honestly is the best thing you could do because blue Loctite, especially with an engine like this Boxer engine, uh, it's definitely going to help you from uh, anything vibrating loose. You're going to use the same T40 uh, that comes with the kit and you're going to go ahead and put it in place. We already mounted our mounting basically where our bracket is going to go and we already put in place the MA units. This is basically where we're going to be able to screw our new skip plate into our uh, system. So what we got to do now is uh, this is going to be two 
uh, two uh, cables for your exhaust. So they provide you with these two cables here in the kit from Black Dog Cycles. And what I find that I think is gonna be easier is if we go from the back and just put them in place one and then the bottom one for number two. All right, so you're gonna see, we're gonna have our two cables for your valve exhaust are gonna be in place. I gotta tell you, this is something that you definitely wanna do when your motorcycle is already cold. You have to be all over the exhaust. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier just to do them uh, from the back, but I was mistaken. Uh, the bottom one, I did it from down here. The top one, I had to go from up here and with my other hand kind of here, hold it in place and basically be able to get it till the front was able to snap in place and then it was gonna, it was pretty easy. But it took me a good probably like five minutes to be able to get uh, the lower and upper uh, exhaust cable covers. So the kit comes with two clamps. You're gonna be able to see one clamp over here and you're gonna be able to see the other clamp is gonna be over there on the other side. The clamps are made basically for uh, for this part right here. So this part is gonna basically go ahead and go in those clamps and then you're gonna go ahead and adjust the clamp. And the clamps, what it's gonna do is basically it's gonna go ahead and adjust it here to the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. We have installed the rear bracket. So what you wanna do before you tighten it up all the way, leave it loose. That way when you're mounting your front bolts here, which are gonna go right here and right here, and then you're able to basically if you tighten it up, what's going to happen is it's not going to be in place. So by not being, by being loose, you're able to go ahead and basically juggle the bracket to basically fit into your side holes, which is going to be one, two, so one on each side. As you're able to see, I'm doing this by hand. I, or you should never do this uh, with a power tool. Uh, you run a good risk of uh, ruining the thread and then you're going to have a different problem. So here are the two for the front. Again, I'm not going to do the complete bolt on now. Now let's go ahead and do the rear one. So you're gonna be able to see, uh, here's uh, your bracket here. And the reason why it should be loose, I'm gonna show you real quick here. See, you're able to go ahead and move it uh, back and forth. Now, if it was tight, it might look like that. And since it's a, a hose clamp, it's gonna be real tight. So just leave it basically just in place. Now that we have it there, we know that this, that's the right place to go. And we're gonna go ahead and be able to do that for our left and for our right side. Here we have it. So we have just installed, uh, this is gonna be your Black Dog Cycles uh, uh, skid plate. So as you're able to see, it provides you with a lot more protection than your factory uh, skid plate. One thing that I have to say that I really like is the fact that they added these rubber bumpers here. So those definitely should minimize or eliminate altogether vibration. Another thing that I like is that you have more protection now towards your uh, headers. If you look at the one from factory, let's put it the right way. Basically, this would have sat right here. So you're able to see they would have, there's basically no protection. So with that one, there's a lot more protection. Let's walk to the other side. So the bolt is gonna be over here. So uh, there's gonna be four mounting bolts. So one, the ones at the bottom of the skip plate and then one on the opposite side. One thing that I gotta say that I was pretty impressed with, uh, with Black Dog was the fact that this bracket here, when you adjust it, and it adjusts with the, uh, and when you put those two bolts up front, it doesn't touch your catalytic converter. That was one of my concerns when I started the install, but I gotta say, uh, it's great. So if we look here at the bottom of the skip plate, another thing that I like is these bolts are gonna be basically flush. So once you're going off road, you don't have to worry about the bolts getting caught and perhaps snapping off. It's basically all in place. And let me show you now for a good reference here. So our new skid plate and what we had before. So you're able to see basically no comparison whatsoever, uh, night and day. So guys, if you enjoy this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That way the algorithm knows it's good. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on my next video.